Hey there, everybody. I am going to share with you some tips about using um, Microsoft Word uh, to help you with your chemistry work. So for example, if I was writing the chemical equation to show the combustion of methane, um, I would not, I would not want to show it like this because it's very, very hard to read, especially if you're doing multiple um, like reactions in one paper and stuff. But anytime you write a chemical reaction, we want to use the right punctuation essentially. So here, um, when you open Microsoft Word, the first tab you're on is home. There's a button that turns those into subscripts. This one would turn it into a superscript, okay? So like if I needed to write the calcium ion, for example, oops, that's cobalt. If I wanted to write the calcium ion, I can click that and do it like that. Okay, so that's how you do charges is superscripts. So that's this button. Subscripts are gonna be this button, right? So the one that shows how many atoms you're using would go like this. Another quick and easy way, if you once you get good at this, it's faster to use keyboard commands. So you, you could be typing along and doing this, or you can go back and highlight it later and do it, but you would hold control and then hit the equals sign, okay? If you wanted to make something into a superscript, you can actually hold control and shift down at the same time and then hit equal like that, okay? So that's subscripts and superscripts, super, super important. Another thing that you might find handy for writing chemical things is the symbols menu. So the symbols menu has a variety of things that are handy like um, Greek letters, for example, um, dots. Sometimes we need dots in chemistry, as, as you might know. And also different kinds of arrows and, and items like that. So let's see if we can find something useful. Okay, so another, another way to approach the same type of thing is to use the symbol menu and you go more symbols and there's actually a math font built into Word. So it's called Cambria Math. Um, so you just check, choose that font. And uh, the arrows, so you could use this, for example, to represent a liquid um, in parentheses after a chemical. Um, but the Cambria font has nicer arrows that work a little bit better than these big, um, so I just clicked in, I clicked the one I wanted and it inserts it for you. These big arrows are a little cumbersome. I like the Cambria math arrow better. Um, one more thing that's a very handy feature in Word now is that you can use the equation editor. So if I needed to type math or really any kind of fraction for any reason, I have to do it this way. Um, so within here, so for example, fractions, uh, look a lot better when you write them going up and down, right, like this. So if I just wanted to say two-thirds of something, I could do that. You can also um, you can also do exponents here, so it's entirely possible to type a chemical equation out using um, using the script here. So this will be a number, or in this case, we're going to use it as CH. Oh, let's do calcium because it's a superscript, the one I chose. So calcium two plus could be written like this, okay? If you don't like it being italic, you can actually highlight it and just, all I did was use the keyboard command to turn italics off. Um, if you wanted to make, um, if you wanted to make a subscript, it would be this one. If you want to do isotopic notation, you want to use this one, okay? And so there are other operators as well that can be handy depending on what you're doing. Those are the most common ones to use for chemistry though. Hopefully this helps you out, um, but if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.